I'm Nancy Berliner with HPE Technical Marketing Engineering. In this demo, I'll show how you can easily manage your storage with a cloud-like experience using HPE GreenLake for block storage. With the HPE GreenLake Data Services Cloud Console, or DSCC, you can easily navigate among storage apps, including HPE GreenLake for backup and recovery, disaster recovery, HCI, and file storage. For block storage, Data Ops Manager is where a storage admin would manage the hardware and software of a fleet of storage arrays. And the Block Storage app, where consumers can easily provision, protect, and manage storage for their applications. The Block Storage dashboard has an overview of any potential issues, plus capacity and performance. You can easily identify the top five volumes by percentage full, latency, IOPS, and throughput. And you can also see capacity usage by application. Each object is hyperlinked, so let's go check out Microsoft SQL Server. A volume set is a group of volumes that are managed together for a specific application, for example, SQL production. Each set has its own dashboard with capacity and performance overall, and you can drill down into each volume for more detailed information. Here, you'll find advanced performance metrics that explore inside the smallest intervals to make you aware of even momentary spikes in latency that could affect application performance. And an analysis of throughput over time to identify periods when your workload might not be performing as you expected. Data protection is also defined by volume set, but we'll come back to that later in the demo. First, let's go to the storage area and deploy a new application. You need to select the tier of storage you'd like and then choose the workload type and volume specifications. You can choose a host group now and then be shown only storage arrays that are accessible from those hosts or opt to choose the storage array first and then select your host group. You also have the ability to add data protection when you're creating your application. If you're not sure exactly what each option entails, there are blue eyes for information throughout the wizard. For data protection, there are pre-configured options for snapshot schedules, and if systems have been set as replication partners, remote protection options are included too. For my app, I'm going to select synchronous replication with zero data loss and instant recovery, which some of you will know as active peer persistence. Next, the built-in intelligence will find the best fit location for your application. Since I opted for replication, it's considering the performance headroom and available capacity on both the source and the target systems. If you don't like what you see, you can choose another pair of systems from the list, or you can just keep the recommendation and click Continue. I'll then add a host group, review the settings, and submit. Once the volume set has been created, the search function makes it easy to find in the list. The block storage app has taken care of everything. It's created the source volumes, added active peer persistence replication, created the replicated target volumes, and exported both the source and target volumes to the hosts. You can always come back to the volume set dashboard to monitor the protection status. And from the actions menu, you can manage replication by, for example, failing over to the target site or setting up host proximity for active peer persistence. We've seen the built-in protection options, so let's go create custom protection for the SQL application I showed earlier. There are three different types of protection options. There's synchronous replication, with or without the instant recovery option we saw a minute ago. Asynchronous replication, with RPOs of as little as 30 seconds to hours or days. And you can also customize a snapshot schedule for the frequency you'd like. When the snaps should be taken, and how long the snaps should be retained. 
You can make your snapshots immutable by specifying a retention time during which no one, not even a root user, can delete your snaps. And you can even enable coordinated snaps on both the source and target systems in a replication configuration. For my SQL application, I've added a schedule that will take snapshots every 30 minutes. So I'll come back to the Protection tab once some snaps have been created. If you decide you want to restore to any of the snaps in the list, you can just select the one you want and the changes to the parent volume will be rolled back to that point in time. A really helpful feature of DSCC is the technical articles that are available at all times. Just click the icon at the top of the screen and then search for whatever you'd like help with. For example, you can look for help with provisioning or even find the latest enhancements to DSCC in the release notes.